Have you ever like gone in the studio and you were doubting yourself and, and you were worse as a result? I make the best music when I'm mad, bro. Really? Because real emotion. When I made that homecoming, that, 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 that homecoming freestyle you're talking about? Right. I seen the tweets. I was in my bed seeing the tweets. Right. Jumped up out the bed, drove to the studio, took two shots of Don Julio and recorded myself and, and put that bitch out like an hour later. Really? That's what I got. Wow. It's, just, it's real emotion. I'm going off, you know what I'm saying, real time. Instead of just letting shit die out and I ain't feeling the same way, I'd rather get in there where I'm feeling like that and really like express myself and push the button. Right. I thought it was interesting that you uh, clearly felt, you know, disrespected by those comments that, oh, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. had to read. And w Okay, but those are random comments. I'm sure you read random negative comments sure. every day. Sure. What was it about that? And for the record, for the people who don't remember, it was like you were announced that you were playing this like homecoming concert, right. and then it kind of was like almost a meme where you had like a bunch of people being like, right. we don't we don't want right. K-Camp, we want somebody right. else, right. right? So it was just, at, at, at that time, you know what I'm saying, I, I was in my bed chilling, you know what I'm saying, can't, can't tell you what was going on, but I was I was relaxing. I was I was cool. The homecoming was not a big deal to me, mm. so it became a thing where you probably like, have shows like that all the yeah, time. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. So I'm one. like, bro, if y'all don't want me there, I won't come there. You know what I'm saying. I think I said something like that, and it got retweeted and, and blasted out onto some shit. I'm like, oh, this shit didn't got out of hand. So now I'm just seeing all type of bullshit coming from. It's fifty percent of the school saying yeah, fifty percent of the school saying no. You know what I'm saying. So I just I said fuck it. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man at the end of the day. I'm not going to travel four, five, three, however the fuck long the plane ride is, driving, whatever it is, to go to a school that don't want to see me. Mm. I don't give a fuck if I rap. I don't give a fuck if I make music. Like, nigga, I'm a grown ass man. I'm not about to go. You ain't about to go even if, fuck rap. Don't even talking about, you're not about to go anywhere where you, you, don't, you don't feel like you want, you know what I'm saying? They right, want you there. Yeah. So why the fuck will I get out of my bed watching a good ass Netflix show? Smoking good, eating good, you know what I'm saying? Why would I get out of my space to go somewhere that they don't want me? But do you feel like that's given the haters or the anonymous Twitter commenters like a to little a bit point. too much power? To a point. And that's when I made the song. Because you probably like, had thousands and thousands and thousands of people who go to that school that were, would happily show up to oh see yeah, for you sure. and didn't even bother to look at Twitter that for day. For sure, for sure. You know? and, 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 that, and that was the case, you know what I'm saying? I can honestly say I let my emotion get the best of me. You know what I'm saying? That I was too... Two in my phone that day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Some we people all got get there. Yeah, I was two in my phone that day and I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You know the fuck I am touch. You know what I'm saying? I was on my ego trip. Mm. But at the end of the day, you can't beat the internet. But you can't beat K Camp in the studio either. Mm. <laughs> so I went to the studio and played my game, put the record out, didn't say shit else about it. Right. Smashed. Mm. <laughs> Do you feel like you know, because a lot of rappers like court controversy. Yeah. And that's one thing that I was trying to find. I'm like, K Camp has to have beef with somebody over the years. Yeah. My beast be behind the not scenes. Much. My beast be behind the scenes. Right. I don't do public beef. If I got some real smoke, like it's some behind the scenes shit. But, and normally, like, if you're like a cool R&B slash rapper or whatever, you might not be beefing with other rappers on some street shit, but you usually have like a baby mama that you're beefing with or something like that. I and I, I couldn't that. really find that from you either. So I feel like you're kind of missing out on something there. You might want to look into that more. I'm, I'm missing out. <laughs> I mean, hell no. Nah. But we know that we know that we know that beef and all that bullshit cause controversy, which cause looks and PR. You know what I'm saying? We know what come with that shit. Right. But like I said, when you see me coming, when I when you going you gonna see it. Trust right. me. Definitely. Trust me. You ever think about doing love and hip hop? They asked me to do it like. Three months ago, and you you said no. Is it a hard no or like a maybe no? Ah, uh, caps, no. <laughs> Why? No, that's not me. It's just not you. It's or not me, bro. What part of it is not you? I feel like love and hip hop is that that phase where they be like, ah, right, yeah, like you know, what I'm saying you did what you had to do in the game or whatever you're doing. Mm. Like, come come get on the show. Nah, you ain't about to put me in that that world. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight. Yeah, because that's kind of like you telling the world, like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over being yeah, like I'm, a top I'm, rapper. Yeah, because I'm no, has anyone ever gone on Love and Hip Hop? And no, I'm not, it could happen. Cardi. Cardi became big after that. You feel me? Cardi, yeah. uh, K. Michelle. Um, it's a couple of folks who, it, it's, it, you got to be real strategic how you play that shit. There's a lot of hip hop legends in it, but very rarely do you somebody, see somebody go do that while they're still in the middle of the prime of their exactly. career. Exactly. Like, yeah. if you didn't already did what the hell you had to do, of course I'd take that free bag at Love and Hip Hop. If I'm down... 40 some years old, like, right. fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I go grab that shit, but not right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I do my own reality show based on me and my characters and my homies and my my lifestyle. Mm. I ain't about to do nobody else's lifestyle. You ain't about to put me 
and somebody else shit and tell me to do some shit like nah mm. like i said i can't tell people people can't tell me what to do i don't mentally that shit don't work in my head for sure how, how did you uh survive the pandemic what was your your strategy my strategy surviving the pandemic was a lot of Call of Duty and 2K. Okay. <laughs> I was in the park a lot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no time to be outside. I was really in the park. Right. Knowledge of shit. <laughs> but, um, shit, I stayed in the house like everybody else. Went to Sam's Club, racked up on groceries, <laughs> 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 learned how to cook some shit. You know what I'm saying? During that time, that's when I was really tapped in, trying to learn some new shit. You know what I'm saying? I got into the trucking business. I got 18 wheelers. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, really? I, I do a, you know, I be, I be working my move. That's one of your investments that yeah. you uh, sort of figured out. Yeah, red trucking. Interesting. Yeah. How's that going? It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's it got its ups and downs, but it's good money. Yeah, the the downs must be all the Atlanta street rappers who want you to throw something else <laughs> on one of those trucks, right? Nah, the downs <laughs> is when your damn driver got down and quit or something. That you gotta find hell yeah, it's hard uh, hard as fuck to find drivers. Do you have somebody like managing it or is it like yeah, you, got, you're the one no, no, getting no, no, the no, new no, driver? No, 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 okay. no, 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 hell no. That sounds like I got a lot my, for you to handle. Yeah, my assistant do that, you know what I'm saying? My dispatch company, all they handle all that logistic shit. Okay. I just look at the the wire hit my account. Okay. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. You in a relationship right now? That's my girl over there. I figured. I seen you tagging her on Instagram. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in that? Oh, we about to be a year. Yeah. I've been on her for a minute, though. Is that, like, your first serious relationship as a rapper or no? mm This is my first public relationship. Okay. All my other relationships are private. Uh-huh. I ain't like people in my shit, but, you know, it's new new, new levels, new devils. How long did you <laughs> have to be kicking it with her before you realized, like, all right, I'm ready to make this public? How long? I know you for, like, three years, four years, four. But you were kicking it, like, actually seeing each other for yeah. that long, and then finally we were like, all right, let's for make sure. it public. You know what I'm saying? We did, you know, we was vibing out. I think it was during the pandemic, for real. Right. That's what I got out the that's, pandemic. That's honestly kind of what I was thinking with <laughs> the pandemic, is everybody sort of got in relationships yeah. during the pandemic. I think it was a pandemic relationship, you know what I'm saying? But it ended up working out. We just on the phone every day, just, you know what I'm saying? We from the same city, you know what I'm saying? Like, we relate, you know what I'm saying? She, she a Gemini, I'm a Taurus, you know what I'm saying? It balance out. You know what I'm saying? She teaches me a lot of shit that I don't know about myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it worked out. It's good to hear. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All good. Um, yeah. Ah, man, there's like there's so many fucking songs of yours that I realized were yours or like, <laughs> yeah. it's like got to rethink about yeah. being yours. Like, what was it like living through the It Ain't Nothing to Cut That Bitch Off era? Like, that must have been Beautiful. fucking crazy. Like, what, what, and when you have a son that's that big, like, how does your life change? Are you just on the road? Non-stop doing all these clubs and shows and stuff, and then man, we was on the road for two and a half years, bro. I've just cut it off of money, baby. Honestly, just wow. two and a half years. So it was one of them things. Like I went from no shows, not doing nothing, to to the recording in the, in the crib, staying with my manager, managers and shit, to being gone and and just you know what I'm saying life just hitting you you don't really know what the fuck going on you know that you're going to this city to pick up 30 you're going to this city to pick up 40 you just uh uh you know what I'm saying the money in your face your drink your lifestyle your, that shit different you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and and that caused me not to know what the fuck was really going on mm -hmm. during that time because you get blinded by just the lifestyle Right, you know what I'm saying. And you don't know what the fuck really happening. What do you mean, like the business shit the is kind business. of fucked up in regards to was, actual music? Because you're man. getting thirty thousand, forty thousand a day. You're thinking everything's all good. Everything all good. You know what I'm saying. Then you and you pull the curtains back and see, oh shit, fucked up. Uh. You know what I'm saying. And that's when shit get. You know, every artist go through it unless you come in the game just already on that mindset. Like you know what the fuck you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, if you're young, I came in the game young. Mm. You know what I'm saying. I was blinded. I was I was having fun. Everything was getting handled. My mama always used to tell me, look at your business, tune into your business. I was just ignoring the shit, ignoring the shit, ignoring the shit till it slapped me in the face. And mm -hmm. I had no choice but to grab that shit by the horns and turn this shit back up. Right. 